Okay, so we're going to talk about one of the methods of actually embedding your audio clip onto your HTML page. And as discussed in the handout, there are at least three different ways of doing this. There are actually more ways than just three, but I'm actually just going to talk about the first, the simplest one uh, in this particular video. And this is the simplest one. It's also the least elegant for reasons that I will show you coming up. Now, I'm not going to go through setting up the server and setting up the site in Dreamweaver for the sake of time, but understand, as it says here on the screen, that you have to do that before you do what I'm about to do. So before any of this that I'm about to do will work, you have to already have your site set up in Dreamweaver and also have the Classwork server set up in Dreamweaver as well. And the methods of doing that are discussed in your handouts for Dreamweaver. So assuming that we have Dreamweaver set up, and we have our site set up, you should be seeing your files over on the right hand side in the files menu. And I have this particular file, this JFK layout 2013 HTML file open. You'll see there is my Rabbit Girl MP3 file. If you have saved it properly in your Journalism 2550 folder along with everything else, it should be there. And if you've got your site set up it, in Dreamweaver, it should show up in your files menu. So to actually make a link, I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom, and I'm just going to hit return and add a new line, and I'm just going to say, listen to my interview with the rabbit girl. Okay, And then the actual link, I am going to just have be the words rabbit girl. So I highlight that, and then you'll recall we have our point to file tool down here. I'm just going to click and hold that and drag it over and point at Rabbit Girl and let go of it. And now that's all you need to do. So I am going to do Control S to save this. I'm going to do F12 to preview it in the browser. And then you'll see here that I have a link. And when I click the link, you'll see that what happens is that it opens up a whole new window. It basically blanks out the screen and has a media player icon that plays the file. And that's sort of the reason why this is kind of inelegant. The fact that it has to open up that separate file and that it blanks out your page is just not the greatest way to do things. Uh, as you'll see, the second method is a little bit more elegant. But this works, and so if I click the link, here's what happens. It's kind of exciting to see the bidders and how much they can. Okay, so like I said, it works, but it isn't the most elegant thing in the world. So again, you can use this method, or you can use the Yahoo Audio Player, um, which I actually think is the preferred method of doing things. It's a little bit more work, but it's actually a bit more elegant. So you can check that out in the other video.